Good morning, everybody. John to be good here, located in Southgate, uh, California. Leaving Southgate, we are now loaded and on our way to Monroe, Wisconsin. Local time here is 7:39 a.m. Uh, temperature, I don't know. Uh, can't get an accurate reading right now because blue just been parked for a while. But anyway, today is Friday. What is the date today? May 22nd, 2015. So, uh, I gotta put this microphone away. So, just enjoy the ride there. has gotten so much easier when this double another WEL driver uh, taught me how to get around this place I hated this place to get out of here because of that one-way street is we have a full 11 hours and 14 hours to do our work today so we should be able to put some miles behind us today God willing
had a great time though but it was very expensive we all dropped our jaws when we got the bill hundred and sixty two dollars $62. I mean, I couldn't believe it. Well, lesson learned. And the worst, the worst part about it was on your left right here, on your left, that's where we just get out. The worst part is there's an in and out burger right there. Right there, eight bucks. That would have been just really, really good. But <laughs> oh man! But the trip to the ocean, to the beach, that was uh, that was really nice. That was really special the way they did that. All the while that I was, you know, we were going out there. I'm thinking. This restaurant's got to be really, really good for them to endure all the traffic, all the distance, and I'm thinking this would be this would better be really good. Little did I know that they were gonna take me to the beach. one of those days I guess
Punch it. Let's go. Oh, by the way, good news, good news, good news. Good news for me anyway. That other uh, WEL driver that was uh, ahead of me, he's got a Rand McNally GPS. It's a small one, but I asked him to plug in Tom to his charger and um, it worked. So that means there's nothing wrong with my GPS. It's, I just got to get me a new uh, power supply for it. A new charger which is a lot better than buying a whole new unit right apparently the one that I bought yesterday or the other day was not designed for this unit so sometime I don't know maybe tonight I'll get one out of uh, I don't know, I'm thinking of buying it from the website, Rand McNally website. That's good news this week. I think Blue is eligible to get another blue bath. I just gotta remember to get a PO that way I could give Blue a bath this weekend.
by the way I'd like to say hello and greetings to Paul Neko Neko has uh, sent me a message was asking about uh, CRST CRST is a good place to start working if you have no experience um, they reimburse or sent you to school and uh, they will run your butt off but they will first you graduate from truck driving school second you apply for a job then you become a student driver once you become uh, once you graduate student driver status then they will put you on a team and once they put you on a team, the nice thing about CRST is they will run you cross country. I mean, they, they got the miles, they got the freight. At least that's what my experience was 20 years ago. And also you asked about my GPS. No, my GPS is not connected to the internet. Um, my GPS is about four to five years old and um, I don't connect it to the internet. I, I have it updated all the time using, uh, you know, when I get home, update the maps and software in it. The PeopleNet, PeopleNet is the satellite communication system that uh, our company use to send messages and receive calls and uh, e-logs and all that stuff. That's what we use is the uh, PeopleNet. There is a capability of accessing the internet for it with a little bit of a monthly payment I guess but no I don't use it I the only source of the only source of uh, internet I have is through my phone I have a uh, sprint unlimited uh, data with sprint and that's how I upload my videos And I think that's all your question was. The drive cam is also, uh, that's a company expense, company equipment. It does not record all the time. It only records when you trip it, you know, by a sudden impact, or if you manually wanted to record something, then you can. It, but once you hit the button, it records 12 seconds prior to. It records 12 seconds prior. So hitting the button and about six seconds after hitting the button. So basically they want to know what you were doing 12 seconds before the impact and six seconds after the impact. What else is there? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I don't use the internet truck stop. Uh, truck stop internet like TAs. I have. I've, I've used them. You know, once in a while, a long time ago. But 
I mostly don't. I think that's all I could give you. So if you're interested, Nico, in uh, truck driving school, well, I, I wish you luck, man. I pray that God will be gracious and uh, protect you and help you, you know, accomplish that goal. Most of all, I hope you'll do it for the glory of God. Glorifying God one mile at a time. stuck on the right lane. Ugh. Travis is not in the office today. Catch you guys later. I don't think you guys want to watch more of this. Peace.